In a world where Windows is shittier month by month, multiple upgrades can happen and your computer is now worse than ever. Only one solution will fix it all. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, okay, let's just, uh, just cut it right there. I just um, no idea why I actually thought that would be a good idea. But yeah, this is a full video about just the idea of doing a clean Windows format. Maybe you've built your custom PC a couple of years ago, maybe you even upgraded certain parts along the years and Windows has been, you know, feeling rusty. Maybe you noticed some bugs here and there that don't seem to go away. And these sorts of issues tend to be subtle, but with time you sort of gain like a feel for when these sorts of things start to happen. Like for instance, a, a couple of months ago, I noticed that task manager stopped reporting my network activity properly. I noticed that for whatever reason, my CPU was idling with more wattage than normal, even though nothing was actually running in the background, which felt weird. And I had this weird sort of half a second stutter for a couple of seasons of Apex. And if you play Apex, you know, the game tends to be a little buggy from time to time. So I just gave it a season and I'm just hoping that it was the game side. But turns out a clean Windows install sort of fixed it for me. So uh, it's these sorts of symptoms that this entire process is supposed to help with. But before anything else, this is your final call to action to actually do a proper backup that you should do all the time. But if you haven't, just copy your most essential data to a second hard drive before doing anything. Even though my process is quite foolproof and we're not gonna be deleting anything, Windows can be Windows and humans can make human mistakes and just delete stuff that they didn't mean to. So just be mindful, back up just a second copy of the most critical data to a second hard drive can be just a blessing in disguise and this is the moment to do it. First things first, you need some space on your main SSD for this new fresh Windows install. I usually clean up around 200 gigabytes and then go to the Windows disk management and see if Windows lets me shrink my main drive for the 200 gigabytes gigabytes that I just freed. If it doesn't, I install a partition management software and just open the space that way. Usually it requires a reboot, but that's pretty much everything that you have to do. Then with your USB drive and your Windows ISO on there, I simply go through the normal setup for Windows. I say no to as much things as I possibly can. And usually this takes about 15 to 20 minutes these days to just do a couple of reboots, install all the updates, and then I'm ready to go. After this, you'll have two Windows Windows installs named Windows 11 on both of them. And usually the one in the volume with the higher number is the newer one. So just keep that in mind. And you can pretty much just spend a couple of minutes configuring your new Windows or testing out some particular bug that you were having. And then if you have to do some work or you just don't have more time to spend on that particular partition this time, you can just reboot, go back to your normal Windows, do what you have to do, and just keep going back and forth until you're finally ready to move everything over. Most times Windows will not attribute a drive letter to your previous Windows install on your new Windows, but don't panic. You can just go to the drive management tab that you used before to make the partition and just give it a letter yourself. And then you can just move the files back and forth through File Explorer. This makes transferring folders between both Windows install just extremely easy. And it's just a convenient way of testing things. Like for example, you can go to Steam and install a game on your previous Windows Windows hard drive and just have everything just transfer over that way. You don't need to re-download anything for testing. You probably will once you merge everything, but for the testing part of things, this can be just a very easy way of just diagnosing a problem and seeing if a clean Windows install is gonna help you or if it can be a completely unrelated issue. And more often than not, if you're having some sort of issues or if you haven't formatted your computer in a couple of years, you'll get a slight performance improvement. Like on my case, it was around three to 5%. And that was clear across a multitude of tests. Like I was getting three to 5% better Cinebench scores. I was getting slightly lower power consumption in idle because something was weird with Windows and it was idling at 50 something watts instead of 30 something 40. And uh, uh, Cyberpunk, for example, it's a benchmark that I quite enjoy because it's extremely predictable run to run, was consistently better three to four FPS on the averages and around three to four FPS on the 1% low. So sometimes it's just 
inevitable that Windows will be Windows and certain files will stay behind even if your hardware stays mostly the same, which was my case. But I was also running my computer as a gaming and editing and Plex server slash management server kind of thing all in the same machine. And recently I just moved um, the server stuff to the closet and it's been well I can show you in the in a video in the future if you're if you're interested for that but it's it's been a relief to finally be able to to have this computer independent from the server stuff so I just wanted a fresh install to remove all the unnecessary stuff that was inevitably behind and you know free performance more optimized power management and just overall just a, a nice sort of snappy Windows install there's definitely a clean house feel feeling when you format your computer uh, and you start with a fresh windows and this is where sort of my final tip comes over where I keep my old windows partition around for you know like a week maybe two before I fully uh, just convert and move over to the new one I just I start slow I start just using it occasionally to diagnose a problem and then once I'm closer to it I started to main the new partition for around a week to two weeks and I keep the old one around because there's always certain things that stay behind and you know I have a backup of everything so it's not really a deal breaker but at the same time it's nice to know that you can just easily bring stuff over and you'll just remember stuff across just one or two weeks and after that if you've forgotten about it you're most likely not going to need it because it's not really that important so yeah that's the entire concept for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and this was helpful in any sort of way and um i think that's it i think that was everything so you guys oh oh but you're here but it's absolutely nothing to do with technology of any kind you're just here to see my cat do cat things um and i'm i'll very gladly share that with you a huge thanks for watching um and um yeah bye <laughs>